Hello, everyone. Welcome to AFC Under the Microscope COVID-19. I am Shilpa Arora, Anti-Money Laundering Director at ACAMS. I have the privilege of talking to industry leaders on how the fight against financial crime has had to adapt in light of COVID-19 restrictions. Today, I am with Mrs. Ilze Nutinia. Ilze is the head of Financial Intelligence Unit of Latvia as of June 2018. Prior to joining FIU Latvia, uh, she had a career as a notary at law, specializing in dispute resolution. She was also a partner of law at Deloitte, having performed anti-fraud reviews at many international and local companies. Ilze has led the preparation of Latvian national AML-CTF risk assessments and several sectorious assessments, and she's led Latvia's efforts in addressing actions from MoneyVal FATF Mutual Evaluation Report. So, Ilze, we have seen a reduced workforce in some areas with people self-isolating, quarantined, and also remote working. Um, certain regulators have issued statements on expectations around contingency and operational resiliency. So how are you and how is Latvia um, FIU coping with these changes? Could you talk us through some of the steps taken by the FIU in Latvia? Yeah, the operations of the core function of the FIU uh, Latvia remains unchanged. A uh, number of employees continue working on site to ensure execution of FIU obligations. However, as many as possible employees are working remotely to prevent the spread of the virus. FIU Latvia internally discussed and planned remote working possibilities already when the virus outbreak was not yet deemed to be a real threat for Europe. And we expect that FIU Latvia is able to e ensure performance of its obligations, even if more restrictions. Uh, for prevention uh, of the virus are introduced. Such scenarios have been discussed and planned, however, we are not able to disclose them due to the danger of the FIU work. Thank you. I mean, bad actors are constantly innovating as well, and we've seen FinCEN in the US and here in the UK, the NCA issue warnings against fraudsters who are selling sham cures or fraudulent charity requests seem to be coming in thick and fast. How serious is this threat in the Baltics and what safeguards exist against these? Yeah, we basically we shared the, the view of Fence and another uh, leaders of the FIU uh, uh, world in this regard that this threat is evident globally. The FIU Latvia also issued a statement two weeks ago urging the obliged entities to remain alert. It suffice to say that obliged entities must be con um, conjunct uh, of risk that amplify due to the virus spread. FIU Latvia is currently working on analyzing the statistics of the past few weeks and if deemed necessary, issuance of guidance for obliged entities will follow helping those entities to identify newly emerged threats, in particular in medical device world or some other parts of the or sectors. Thank you. Um, I want to take you back to 2000. Uh, and the financial crisis for a moment. So uh, when the 2008 financial crisis happened, the focus quite rightly became uh, safety and soundness of financial institutions. And a lot of enforcement actions ended up in the pipeline for AML uh, counter-terrorist financing. Is there a danger now in the aftermath of the pandemic that we might find ourselves in a similar situation? What are your views? Uh, I would say... As per our understanding, the reasons behind the 2018 financial crisis are significantly different from the reasons of the current health crisis. And therefore, we would not expect finding ourselves in entirely the same situation when the health, uh, health crisis will be resolved. However, there is a danger of significant growth in a, a cybercrime as businesses are moving their operations to digital, digital environment rapidly and unprepared, possibly uh, in terms of cybercrime, yes, of course. Thank you. And finally, your learnings so far through these testing times. So what are your learnings and any key takeaways you would like to share with our professional communities? 
although FIUs are always prepared for some smaller or bigger crisis, this mm -hmm. uh, key learning, of course, is that uh, all the FIUs across the world uh, should be prepared for a crisis situation. We should become more adaptive. Uh, we should use a more uh, modern technology and not to be as traditional as FIUs were uh, for quite a long time. And of course, message to the professional community, uh, as I said already, was shared to, um, to, by FIU Latvia publicly to remain alert in the wake of this health crisis as criminals may be prompt to misuse the state of emergency for their benefit. Thank you, Ilze. Very insightful discussion there with Mrs. Ilze Notinia, head of FIU Latvia. Do join us as we talk to industry leaders around the globe on financial crime prevention in the current circumstances. You can find us on the hashtag online with ACAMS. Thank you. Thank you.